Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sang Kim. Today I would like to show you how to do weighted least scale regression analysis in R. There is one reference site I have used for this video. And according to this website, uh, when it may not be reasonable to assume that every observation should be treated equally, weighted least scales can often be used to maximize the efficiency of parameter estimation. This is done by attempting to give the each data points its proper amount of influence over the parameter estimates. In terms of advantages of weighted list scares, if the standard deviation of the random errors in the data is not constant across all levels of the explanatory variables, using weighted list scares with weights that are inversely proportional to the variance at each level of the explanatory variables is the most precise parameter estimates possible. Let me use as example data for weighted risk scales in this video. This is typical data uh, format to read uh, your analysis data. So if we put uh, this symbol, then it means that you read data from left to right. So as you can see, there are two variables, namely age and DVP, right? So let me copy data from this website and control C and if we try to put uh, paste it directly in Excel as you can see uh, it's not right uh, we cannot read it in a right uh, proper format so uh, from my case I always paste it and notepad and control C again and paste it here right then you can read data in a right format Right, as you can see, there are eight rows and 14 columns. And uh, column one, three, five means age variable. And uh, column two, four, six means DBV uh, variable. So in order to read uh, set data uh, set in Excel in the same way, so we can use uh, offset function. Right, seven, uh, age column. Uh, actually one, three, like this. And DVP column, two, plus two. And age data can be read by using uh, offset function. You can specify reference as a one and fix it. And comma. Uh, rows from column B, this one. Uh, column here. Then you can read 27, 73, 21, 66, right? And 20, 65. Okay, let's read a uh, read, uh, second row. So we can consider this formula. Okay. So as you can see, there are eight rows and 14 columns. It means that eight rows times 14 minus four, because there are no data here, and over two, because we put uh, two columns like this. So we need uh, 54 uh, observations data like this okay all right uh, sorry there is an error here I need to use this formula copy and paste here same as it's exactly same so in our uh, in Excel as you know uh, we can uh, easily do uh, linear regression analysis uh, without any uh, weight so go to data and click data analysis and choose the regression okay and y range from this one 
an X range from a column B here. And the first row is actually label data information. So click labels and let's see the result here. All right. And uh, let's see the uh, let's draw a scatter plot between age and DBP. All right. As you can see, uh, when we have a higher age data, the variation uh, for Y DBP is getting larger, right? Okay. There is also one good uh, site to uh, understand weighted regression in SAS, R, and Python, right? So according to this site, uh, there is three options we can do uh, WLS, weighted linear regression. So let me show you how to do uh, WLS in R program. So I saved this data as bloodp.csv. So let me read data bloodp. Let's do a simple linear regression. You can use LM function. Okay, and we can use summary function. As you can see, age variable is significant. And uh, adjust the R square it is around 0 0.39. Mm. Then uh, we can see, uh, then uh, we can think of uh, how the residual uh, actually uh, looks like against uh, age variable. As you can see, when age is uh, getting higher, then residuals, actually, uh, the variation of residuals is also getting large. Okay. So uh, let's think. Let's do uh, weighted least the square. Firstly, let's try to 1 over y hat uh, weighting, so WT1. Fit the value. Okay. That's only a warning message, it's okay. Uh, WT1, right with that. It's can use rm function made up of the p weight equals wt1 so this is how we can do uh, weighted linear uh, weighted risk square uh, regression in our program and summary Okay, so let's compare uh, standard error for age, the summary, regular fit, for efficiency, number two, then you can get a standard error for uh, re linear regression. So let's compare these results and weighted regression uh, WLS result okay so as you can see the standard error is uh, compared to a simple linear regression 
uh, WT1 has a uh, smaller uh, standard error for uh, age variable. All right, then option two, we can use uh, regress, absolute value of sigma, and weight, one over predict, squared prediction. Okay. For this, let's say uh, absolute value of rigid here. ABS reg dot fit and rigid ears. Okay, and then uh, fit to, let's make uh, RM H, right? Right, then let's make uh, weighted variable value. Bit to the value here and square, right? This is this one. Right then, wt to uh, wt two direct dot fit uh, rm uh, linear regression dbp. H plus the P and let's give an weight okay then let's get so a standard error As you can see, we were able to get a smaller standard error for age variable. Uh, option three, regress, absolute value of sigma square, and wait one over prediction. Then ABS RES2 equals absolute value of uh, leg fit rigid years and squared. Okay and fit 3 LM to tilde blood p and h and let's make a weighted value weighted variable again abs absolute value one over fit three fitted value All right, then the regular fits LM, DBP, H, data, blood P, and weights equals WT3. All right, then, All right, then let's compare again. three again uh, in this case our um, standard error for age is a little bit uh, smaller than uh, WT right and let's get uh, let's compare uh, adjusted R square among three uh, four actually uh, models so summary Reg dot fit dollar R 
square. Okay, this is actually a simple linear regression model. And the second one, WT1, the reg fits, reg dot fits, I'll just the R square. And T and W3, so let's see. All right. As you can see, uh, we ran a simple linear regression model and three different weighted risk risk the square regression models. So uh, we can see that uh, the last one, option three, has got a higher uh, adjusted R square uh, compared to other two weighted linear risk square methods. Right? So this is uh, how you can do uh, weighted linear regression analysis in R. I hope it was useful to understand how to do weighted linear regression analysis in R. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how to do uh, weighted linear uh, weighted risk scale uh, regression in Excel. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.